I qualified third, got third in the heat, and third in the final. It sounds pretty simple, but qualifying went real good. We were, I was happy, and the track got drier and slicker. And the heat, I struggled, got third, but it was we were off. So I made some changes for the main, and luckily uh, they were the right changes. My buddy Jared Mees was kind of watching me and coached me a little bit and threw some ideas my way and definitely helped, so I appreciate his help. And uh, he can probably stay hurt and coach me a little longer if he wants to. <laughs> I knew everybody was going to get bottled up, you know, because the corners are so tight. I kind of just figured that was going to happen. And luckily, uh, it, you know, I lined up on the outside, went around the outside. And when I went into three, somebody went up the inside and caused a big old mess. And luckily, I was able to turn, turn low off four and passed about five guys and was like fourth. So it just uh, it was a Jared Mees move. <laughs> Got lucky. <laughs> two Kawasaki's on the podium. Uh, one brand new expert, brand new. Yeah. Light. What do you think about that? I think it's great. I mean, I was loving it during the heat races and the semis, seeing all the Kawasaki's towards the front. And, uh, you know, a perfect example is Jake Shoemaker. He wouldn't have had an option to ride a Harley. I mean, they're uh, great bikes, but they're just very few and far between good ones to get on. And, uh, you know, he's able to come out here on a bike he built himself, essentially, and put it on the podium. And, uh, beat me you know that i mean running run with the best guys ever um you know beat the factory team so it's just great it shows you how good the kawasaki really is and uh i think it's a sign of things to come i mean to come to one of the slickest tracks we go to all year and to beat a lot of harleys it's uh speaks volumes for sure